Hey guys, Fuzzy here. When you run out of ideas for content, the YouTube hungry beast of algorithm starts demanding more. It's like the YouTube version of Flameheart, a trash-talking narcissist that is seeking attention if you sail by without feeding it. And with that, I present you with 10 random facts about Sea of Thieves. Some are useless and others don't make sense, but they are still great to know, so you can flex your knowledge against your crew and feel wisdomous about it. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Pointy Rock in the middle of the map, Arena Tavern. Every time a new session joins the map, a bolt of lightning strikes the rock, indicating that a new ship has joined. 2. I mentioned in an older video that running in Sea of Thieves has realistic sounds. Without shoes, makes no sound, and with a peg leg, you hear one of the legs while running. But what if you want to be sneaky and still have shoes on? Worry not. Costumes do not affect the sounds of running. As long as what is hidden under is not equipped, you will have shoes on without sound. So if you are someone who uses full costumes, remove the underlying cosmetic to be more discreet while moving around. It won't change your appearance. It also works the other way. If you are a barefoot costume, but have shoes underneath, it will make a running sound. Here's an example of my character in Lunar Festival costume without shoes. After 12 am game time, for around 2 hours, standing on the shores of Crook's Hollow, you can hear a creepy ghost sound coming from inside the island. No one knows what it is yet, but one day, it will be revealed. Canine Island Consider yourself lucky if you ever spawn on Daggertooth or Galleon's Grave. 99% of the time, when going to the uncharted Canine Island, you find either a robot, storage crate, or both. And sometimes, several storage crates. It's the underrated Supply Island. There is also a lovely doggo there that you can say hi to, so it's always worth it. It might be common knowledge to some players, but I might as well put it, because someone is always surprised on my stream when I do that. Yes, you can reload an ammo crate from the fixed ammo crates on your ship or on islands if needed. Lag spikes. Assuming you have a good internet connection, ask your crew if they experience the same when you encounter one. A considerable spike in ping or the whole server going into a flash stroke. If all answers are positive, then that means someone opened a gold hoarder vault, activated shores of gold, or in most cases, a galleon crew just loaded in. Holy lag, did you, did you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a galleon just loaded in. As presented in my previous video, we knew a galleon loaded in without seeing one. The Fray of the Damned. You know you can sometimes hear cannon shots when you are in the ferry. The ferry and the legendary hideout are located below the sea, a square north of the arena tavern. Back in the day, you used to swim down and see it far in the distance with your spyglass. Jackie and I confirmed that by using the gold order wayfinder, locating the hideout and the ferry. The whole process was presented in our video, top right. Campfires. If you want to use it, whether for a red flame or cooking, it tells you that wood and lantern are required to ignite it, but you can also do that by slicing it several times, shooting at it with a pistol, firebomb, or even a keg. These methods also work for anything that requires a lantern to ignite, like vaults and tall tales. If you harpoon them, you can sink skeleton ships quickly by anchoring your own ship after locking the harpoon down. They will go in a full stop mode and cannot move any further. Bailing into them from the damage you have in your ship will give you an easy win. Just make sure you hold down the button to lock the harpoon at a fixed distance. He's almost by us, we're not on ship. Air launch. After launching from a cannon to another ship or falling from a higher place, you can start charging in the air before getting there. And if timed right, okay, he's in our cannon range. you will knock the target out of business. If you are new and wondering how to sword launch and jump, check my video on the top right. That works! Haha! <laughs> Air launch! Okay, guys, go ahead. 11. And this is a bonus. Old Faithful Isle is the worst island in the game. I hope you enjoyed these random facts. All videos related to these facts will be in the description below, along with my Twitch channel. Would love to see you on my streams. Fuzzy here, thank you for watching and happy sailing.